What's going on everyone, it's Greeny here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we'll be talking about portfolio management and taking profit in 2024 or 2025 once this bull market does top out. If you like my content, please subscribe down below. YouTube tells me that only 25% of you are subscribed, so please support me by clicking that subscribe button and by liking this video. Furthermore, if you'd like to support me further, turn on those notification bells, and I've also started a membership on my channel, so you can click that little join button up the top to check out what the perks get you uh, if you're looking forward to joining me and supporting me as a content creator. Here's a video on portfolio management in crypto. So guys, I'm gonna start with the disclaimer. First of all, this information is for educational purposes only. I'm not a financial advisor. I do not give financial advice. Please always do your own research. This is what has worked for me for the past eight years in crypto. So as you can see on the screen, guys, I've got a document so you can pause this at any time and check out some of the strategies that I'm gonna outline in this video. So obviously we're talking about portfolio management. Now, obviously this depends on your risk appetite. So for me, being my eighth year in crypto, I have a bit more experience than the, the common novice person who's been joining in the past couple of years. So I do like to take more advantages on um, probably riskier plays, okay? Um, and so in other words, I probably allocate um, more riskier plays to my portfolio. However, as you can see on the screen, guys, um, I did actually write up a pinned post. So you can check this out on my Twitter, okay? If you come to greeny underscore ETH, um, you can see that it's my pinned post. If you come into it and you actually click on the first tab, it's going to give you my DCA allocations from around August uh, in 2023. As you can see here, it clearly outlines what I was um, sort of setting myself up for in this bull market. Now, obviously, more recently, that has changed because narratives change. And I think that's a really important thing with portfolio management as we're speaking right now, that you need to follow um, narratives that are really starting to heat up in this space. So if we have a look at this screen here, this is what I have sort of allocated more recently. So at the moment, I have about 55% of my total crypto portfolio in my spot bag. So that's where I'm DCAing into plays, that's where I'm buying red days, and that's where I'm holding the majority of my crypto allocation. Next, I have about 20% NFTs. Now, this can obviously vary depending on your risk appetite, as I said at the start of the um, video. So essentially, what I would be looking at is anywhere between 15 to 30% of your portfolio as NFTs. Now, you just need to remember that at the end of the day, NFTs are quite illiquid, and it can take some time for some NFT plays to uh, eventually play out, all right? So as you can see here, I also have allocated about 10% um, to airdrops at the moment because I think that's a great play at the moment. Currently, I'm farming Blur, looking into Say and other blockchain um, airdrops at the moment. And obviously, I've allocated about 7.5% to uh, both leverage and meme coin plays. Now, as you can see, this is quite a safe portfolio. Now, I would highly recommend that you really do consider something like this because you don't want to overexpose yourself, which is what we're going to talk about later in the video about particular strategies that I think people sometimes in crypto um, do accidentally. So they over allocate to leverage or they over allocate into meme coins. And you don't wanna be do that if you wanna make this in a longer term play. Crypto specifically, this is what I'm looking at. So obviously a similar sort of play to my portfolio structure, but this is my crypto spot bag. So as you can see here, guys, I got 55% allocated to Solana, Bitcoin, and Ethereum, 20% uh, allocated to L1s and L2, such things as say, AVAX, um, Dex is underneath ecosystem. So I'm thinking Joe on AVAX, I'm thinking Radium on Solana. They all fall into the L1 slash L2 bracket in my crypto specific portfolio. Next, I have obviously 10% allocated to gaming. I'm a big gaming guy. I love where the gaming space is going because I think it's gonna bring a lot of web two people to web three. Next, I have about 5% allocated to AI and data because I definitely think that's a narrative that people will take on moving forward. Obviously, I then have 2.5% allocated to memes. So that would be Dogecoin, Pepe, Bonk okay as my top three memes and then lastly i think it's really important that you do have a bit of liquid on the side now it's really important that you do have some cash to pick up some potential liquidation events like we saw last week or if we do get a 40 percent pullback okay it's good to have some liquidity on the tables and to lock in some profit and those are some of the strategies that we're going to discuss so if we have a look here guys i've got three pages okay so one two and three and we're going to discuss all of them in the next uh little period so as you can see here guys i just took you through my portfolios now i really want to be making this clear, okay? There's a big difference between passively trading and actively trading. I would deem my spot bags as passive trading. So that's where I'm allocating 50%, 55% of my portfolio. And over time, that's actually probably gonna outweigh my active trading. Now, obviously what I say here is that I actively trade on leverage, on memes, on NFTs, etc., low cap gems to accumulate more of my conviction plays. So some of those conviction plays as it is listed there is Solana, AVAX, BTC, Gaming, I could throw in there as well. But at the end of the day, guys, I think 
And it is, it's testament over the past three cycles, your passive bags will severely outweigh your income and your wealth in about a year's time compared to actively trading. All right, so onto the next page. Some of the strategies follow what we just discussed. So obviously following narratives. So if you um, haven't obviously been in crypto for too long, you wanna try and catch those narratives that are, that are taking off. Obviously gaming is one, obviously Solana ecosystem one is one. Say and AVAX ecosystems are starting to take off. AI is a big one as well. But if you look further, it's NFTs as well, okay? So if you are someone from last cycle that held on to your mutants or your apes, you'd be down a lot because you didn't catch on to the narratives that were pudgies this um, cycle, okay? So it's really important to consider narratives okay with your portfolio management and in other words you want to take aggressive profits but you also want to preserve your capital and get out of weak positions so that you can take advantage of stronger plays in 2024 um, now obviously some things here that you need to consider uh, we'll talk about tax considerations later on in the video but exchanges allow you to dollar cost average in so that means you can add a dollar every day into the tokens that you want to however what they don't do is allow you to dollar cost average out now that's really important because at the end of the day exchanges want you to buy but they don't want you to sell, okay? So really importantly, you need to come up with an exit plan, but we'll talk about that later in the video. Set some take profit levels. So for me, I'm thinking as soon as some of these tokens that I'm invested in hit all time highs, I'm taking 10 or 20% of that bag out just to lock in profits. You're never gonna time the top and you're never gonna time the bottom, guys. And as it says here, do your best to always avoid emotions. Now this does come with time and experience, okay? I'm lucky I've been in this space for eight years, but I want you guys to really try and take those emotions off the table so you can maximize your profits moving into 2024 and obviously into 2025. All right, some other portfolio strategies that you can have, okay? Do not over leverage, okay? People get wrecked every single day. You just saw today with the liquidation event of the SEC and the news regarding the Bitcoin ETF, okay? We literally scammed up to the top and wrecked all the shorts and then we scammed to the bottom and wrecked all the longs. So, please do not over leverage. Similarly, don't over allocate to riskier plays. So leverage or meme coins, okay? You short, your portfolio should be predominantly in spot, okay? And then obviously on the side, you have maybe 5% allocated to plays on leverage and 5% allocated to memes. Similarly, don't get into e-liquid assets or don't lock up a significant portion of your portfolio into e-liquid assets. So things such as staking protocols, DeFi protocols, or airdrop lockups, okay? It's really important that you do consider that. And also the last one that I often need to reconsider is obviously NFTs because NFTs do take some time to maybe play out, but also they can be quite illiquid very, very quickly. All right, as I said before, we wanna have an exit plan. So for me, that's definitely when I wanna take profit. So as I as, as I ask, um, ask here on the screen, guys, when are you gonna take profit? You must have a plan, okay? I would say that less than 10% of the people out there have a plan of when they actually wanna take profits. And it's those 10% people that will definitely succeed the best in the next coming year or two in crypto, all right? So definitely ask yourself, when do you wanna take profits? Is it all time highs? Is it 5X of a bag? Is it 10X of a bag? Whatever it is, guys, essentially have a plan in place so that you can lock in profits. Now, the last thing I wanna to touch on is obviously tax implications. Now tax comes into quite a lot of our profit taking or portfolio management in crypto. Obviously, if you've had a big loss, you can um, subsides that against some of your wins, okay? So you can maximize your profit in the longer term. If you've up heaps of gains, okay? Essentially what you want to do is maybe consider, do I need to hold that token or that NFT for a little bit longer to essentially get lower tax rates? And I know that that can be quite a big thing in uh, different countries here in Australia. It is, if you do hold an asset for longer than 12 months, it can work out in your favor in terms of your income tax, okay? Now, Queenly is a service, okay? That I have used for the past few years to uh, essentially track all all of my transactions and to organize my tax when I need it at the end of the year. Now, I do have a referral. This doesn't get me any benefits. If anything, it gets you a benefit. It gives you a discount when you're looking for tax reports at the end of your tax season or tax month. So for Australia, that's obviously mid-year. For the US, we just saw uh, people trying to capitalize on their tax losses in December. But if you wanna sign up for that, there is the description below has that sign up for Coinly. But alternatively, you can go to my uh, Twitter profile. You can click on the link tree. It's gonna pop up like this, okay? you can scroll to the bottom that says join Coinly Tax. You click that and it's gonna open a tax um, sign up page here. It is free to sign up, but if you do wanna generate a tax report, that is where you do have to spend a bit of money. I really hope you took it um, a lot in during this video, okay? Pause the video at any time to check out some of the portfolio management strategies that I've listed on the screen. 
So there you have it guys, there's my video on portfolio management and how I'm gonna take profit in 2024 slash 2025. If you like my content, please subscribe down below. It supports me and it helps me grow as a content creator. Don't forget to smash a like on this video as well. And don't forget that I am running that new membership on my channel. You can check it out by clicking the join button up the top of the channel or below this video. Thanks for being here guys. As always, take care and I'll see you again soon. Thank <music> you.